buffer stock. So if you've watched the little cartoon video, it kind of gives you an overview of what buffer stock is and why it exists. The basic concept is a buffer or safety stock is like a false zero. It's kind of like the uh, low fuel light on your dashboard in your car. It basically tells you to go to the gas station and fill up before you run out. So when you're inside the forecast page here and you click into a product by clicking on the name or clicking here, inside the calculation variables, you've got your order schedule and your transfer schedule. Buffer stock can be applied to your Amazon fulfillment centers, your FBA buffer stock, as well as your own warehouse or your third party warehouse, whatever you're using to store inventory outside of Amazon. In this case, we're ordering every two months on the 15th of the month, and we're keeping a buffer in days. You can also keep a buffer in units, but I like to look at buffer in days just because it's a dynamic number. So as your sales velocity increases or decreases, the number of units are going to change that you have to keep as a buffer. But the number of days is always going to be the same. So in this case, we're keeping 30 days worth of inventory at Amazon at all times. And so stocked is going to reverse engineer your inventory timeline, all of your transfers and your new orders to maintain that buffer stock, including delivery time. And I'll show you how that works. In this case, we're keeping 30 days buffer at Amazon and 10 days of buffer at our third party warehouse. Like with all the tools on the forecast page, you can save it to this product or you can save it to all products, all filtered products, products from the supplier, this brand, this marketplace, because you might have different settings for UK versus North America or what have you. And then you can also tag products and do any saves to tagged products. So in this case, it's telling us to transfer about 2550 and that should arrive to Amazon just about the time they have 30 days worth of inventory left. So that's our buffer. So we don't run out of stock, we stock back up. So that's how that buffer stock works. And as we can see, we're not going below 300 units at our warehouse, which is about 10 days worth of inventory if we're selling 28 per day, and then we stock back up. So that's how the buffer stock here works. Keeps you in stock, and of course it does take into account transfer time and lead time from suppliers as you can see here where this transfer time is being calculated into the buffer. We actually have a little bit more than buffer here and we never run out of stock. We're trying to stock up for this big sale. One last thing on the buffer stock, if you actually want to see the specific numbers on your thresholds, you can export this entire timeline and download it here. So in the download we can actually go look at our buffer stock and we've got our warehouse buffer stock and our FBA buffer stock. And I want you to pay attention here how the number changes. So the buffer stock is changing based on the sales velocity. So if our sales velocity is higher here in June than it is supposed to be later in June, uh, our buffer stock threshold is going to change based on that 30 days minimum, right? And as we scroll through the year, down, 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 as we're selling on our timeline, we can see that at some point the buffer stock total number of units buffer increases based on the velocity as it changes times that 30 days of buffer stock. Anyway, so that's basically how buffer stock works. Um, you want to, again, go to your calculation variables and set it up here in your order schedule. And you can also set it up in your transfer schedule. Of course, transfer schedule only works if you're using a third-party warehouse.